Well, looky here. Look who's out of quarantine. So, I have been all kinds of just busy and bored. And, uh, you know, COVID even hits us dwarves, you know, and it's just, I don't know. Anyways, so, Jay says, hey, Tony, you want to, but then Tony wasn't here. So, he's like, well, crap. I said, no, man, Tony's down. He he went down to Australia. He snuck in. Because, you know, they ain't allowing people down there in Australia. So, he's like, you want to do a video? I, I said, I suppose. Am I going to get paid? And she nothing. Crickets. But, yeah, I'm going to do a video. He comes from under the mountain. Seeking out new stupidity to drop the hammer upon the Globers those are his next victims he will prove once and for all that the earth is flat what the hell's a flirt so yeah um I guess we're doing some uh frappy frappy no no I'm sorry grumpy old dude alright is he gonna is he gonna be grumpy? Hey Jay, is he gonna be grumpy? See, he did it again, just like last time. He just hit record and then he left. He leaving me to my own devices. See, that's not a good thing. Cause see, when I'm leaving to my own devices, hey, let me tell you about this time. All right, see, check it. You know, me and Tony. You know, this was after we was down there, um, hunting them gators down in Louisiana. We was out and we headed north, right? So we was off to going to the to uh, where was that? Um, New Jersey. We 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 wanted to go see where they were. They they filmed that show, the Jersey Shore, because we wanted to see if them people was actually straight up Guidos or whatnot. But, anyways, so I don't know where, where was I going with this. Ah, right, fine. Let's just let's just play the video. Let's see what Grumpy got. I've heard that tune before somewhere. I wonder where I heard that from. What's going on, everybody? I am the grumpy old... Ah, crap. See? Mm, he's a guido. Man, I spent enough time up there on the Jersey Shore. I don't want to listen to no more guidos. Fine. Let's just... Is that a poo bear on a cricket-ass shelf? He can't even... See, at least Jay decided when he was going to actually do some hammer, he actually went out and had, you know, a cool avatar made for me. But no, this guy's got to put a poo bear up on a crooked shelf. See how he is. Now, let's listen and see what this Guido's got to say. Well, dude, got a little bit of a new setup behind me here. Got my old... That's a new setup? What kind of crap does his old setup look like? I'm scared. Old sign gone. I still got my crooked shelf from my buddy Jay over at the Neverbore Tavern. Yeah, crap. He's friends with Jay. Man, I'm out. I'm done. I ain't doing this. Jay, you didn't tell me he's got to be a friend of yours, bastard. Now I got to be extra cruel. <laughs> Let's do this. Now, things have been pretty stressful for me lately. I've been gone for a while, but I'm glad everybody's stuck in there. Hopefully, you'll enjoy this video. Probably not. So, I had to step away from my normal content, and we're going to go back and look at an old friend. Well, I'm not even going to call him a friend. Just somebody I like to... Get on with it, man. Come on. A minute in, and you ain't said crap. Just see, see, this is what happens when people let Guidos onto YouTube. All right. See, one, the dude needs to shave. Or either he needs to shave or he needs to grow a glorious beard like myself and Tony and Jay's is coming along because he was dumbass and shaved it off, looked like a stupid elf with some caterpillar on his upper lip. It wasn't right. 12 minutes. Oh, this is going to be a long-ass video. <sighs> Bam! The cover every now and then. This is a man who calls himself Professor Truth. The only... Well, he's better than a grumpy old dude. At least he didn't give him some stupid-ass, I don't know. Problem is, 
he doesn't know anything truthful. He doesn't say anything truthful. And this video is going to be a doozy. Hold on, people. Here we go. We've been holding on, man. One minute, 10 seconds, and you ain't even started the video. You know, there was another guy we did not too long ago that was like that. What was his name? Um, um, Logistical troglophyte. That was it. He talked for a while and didn't say crap neither. And then, of course, there was the jelly bean. Then there was the dude with the funky accent. There was the bald guy. I don't know. None of them really say much. They always take so long to get into their videos. Fine. Do it. Hey, everybody. Again, Professor Truth here. Oh, he's a biblical nutter. Now, see, I believe in the, in the Jesus, and, but to, uh, to us dwarves, it was his... Okay, let me explain something to you here first. All right. So, I believe in God. I'm 100%. But I don't know him as you know him. I know him as our Lord and Savior, Doom with Thoin. Okay. So, let's, let's just get that right off the top of the head. I call him Doom with Thoin. Y'all going to call him Jehovah, Jesus, God, whatever you want to call him. But, but it's, it's semantics. All right. But I believe 100%. And let's see what the biblical warning. Doctrines of demons and Jewish fables are dangerous to your soul. Titus 1 9. Got that Christopher Titus, that comedian? Oh, he's funny. I don't know. Here we go. Wisdom for today. <clears throat> I'm kind of. Drop us some truth there, Professor Truth. Drop us some truth. Hit them with the Bible knowledge. Let's do this. I'm going to talk about kind of what's going on with a uh, Q alert on the Steve Quail site. Now, before everybody freaks. Why, why did you stop him? He was just about to drop some knowledge. See, debunkers are like this. They interrupt people when they're trying to talk and they're trying to make a point, and they won't let them talk. They just say, I'm going to talk, talky, talky. I'm going to talky, talky, talky. I'm skipping ahead because he's going to be one of these guys that just talk forever and stuff. So let's go to here. What's this? True news, Steve Quayle, cannibalism for the end times. Steve Quayle is another nutbag who I might do some videos about in the future. I don't know. Oh, please, Lord, don't. Yet, I'll check him out. We'll see. Now, as far as King of the Universe, well, you know, you can claim whatever you want there, Professor. What the hell? The flying spaghetti monster is the one true God. No, no, no. See, there is only one true God, and that's Duma Thoin. All right, I don't know what this spaghetti thing looks like a pair of testicles with eyes I'm not gonna go there let's just keep going for truth but uh proof to me it isn't somebody else hmm we could be down any day on YouTube because they're pulling a lot the oh don't go bitch bitch you see I <laughs> so I was the other day not too long ago because you know we're in COVID and lockdown down here in the mines so you know I'm bored and YouTube got a bunch of dumb crap. So I decided, I'm going to go take a look at this here bitch shoot. And oh my lord, the truth bombs and the knowledge that's over there on bitch shoot is fantabulous. But, you got nutters. You, you do. You, you got nutters. And, I, I, wait, what's this? What? Grumpy's gonna be on bitch shoot. Oh good lord. There goes the neighborhood. They'll just let anybody over there won't they? Do we do we got it? All right. Can I skip ahead? I'm getting a nod from the control room. All right, let's skip ahead. Let's go halfway through see what's going on halfway through right about there Buffer 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 play so hard for this wait a minute. What, what's that on his dome? Wait, let's, let's just roll this back some, because I want to know what he put on his head. Where did, where did, nope, it's, it's, it's not on his head. How far, do I got to go back to where I was at? What the hell? Almost, oh, wait, there's a bald head. All right, let's, what, what's he got going this on This computer, here? now, listen, just to be safe and just to protect myself before I go any further, I have to make sure I have my personal protective equipment securely fastened so make sure we get this on 
Did that Jersey Shore wannabe actually put tinfoil on a baseball hat? What the hell? Muffin button? Who the, who's Muffin button? Jay, you didn't turn down your phone. Interrupt me while I'm... And why is your phone in the studio? And he's gone again. What the hell? Ugh. I'm, I'm going to need a drink. I'm going to need a couple beers after this one. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, hey. Why is he put tinfoil on top of his baseball hat? Anybody? Yeah. That way I I don't have any kind of, you know, computer generated nonsense infiltrating my brain. It, everybody knows it's through your teeth. You ever been to a dentist and got feelings? And now they say that that, that that's just a conspiracy theory, but it's bull crap. Cuz my cousin Marvin went to the dentist, you know, a while ago. And he had some feelings put in, and he started hearing, you know, ABBA all the time. You know, just every time he turned around, ABBA was playing. And he was like, what? I know. And and we could hear it because it was on the radio, but he didn't know that. We all acted like, we was like, what's going on? He's like, I'm hearing ABBA. And we were like, oh, we don't hear nothing. It's So we did that for about like a week, and then we sent him to Jersey. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's keep going. I'm gonna skip ahead. Now that we know why he's got a dumb tip, well, what's is he? What's this? What's he reading? Suggest everyone ponder this very sobering letter written from Carol H to her friends and families. It's later than we all think. What's later? Now read it out loud for us. This is a Q alert. Suggest everyone ponder this very sobering letter written from Carol H. to her friends and families. It is later than we all think. I just read that. Steve, I read this article, then listened to you and Dave Hodges. I knew I had to write a Dave definitive Hodges. letter to family and friends. One letter which sums up where and what, where, um, or Spit what will out, be man. happening and the decisions we will be forced to make. Now, I don't know why it's so hard. I, I, that guy was reading. I don't want to hear what you got to say. I want to hear what he's got to say. Skip ahead, skip ahead, back to the letter. And, well, you'll see. Yeah. So many claim they will not take the V. V. What's the v? Easy to say Wait when you're home no, no, on the no, computer. No, 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 stop, stop, stop. I read that. It says, so many claim they will not take the vaccine. Why is he not saying vaccine? What's wrong with vaccine? Look, I'm a dwarf, and even I can read that it says vaccine. Nothing? Why does nobody ever answer me? <sighs> I will start sending this out to my family and friends tonight. A letter to my family, a letter to my friends. I can't say this enough. These COVVs are... He did it again. This guy afraid to say COVID vaccines? Is there something? Did I miss something when I was down in the mines? What's, what's wrong with saying COVID vaccine? I can see you. Oh, now he's just ignoring me because he's... Man, we'll just keep going. ...are designed to destroy human DNA, to transform people into artificial intelligent robots. All right, so I'm not... God, he was reading... All right, look, fam, what do you got to say? Because I got, I got some truth knowledge. I'm going to drop here in just a second, but let's see what you got to say. Not sure why he's, you know, being so... So nothing. Let's just get... <laughs> uh, let's go where do... Uh, no. you see, you guys don't produce no evidence either. We're going to skip ahead, skip ahead, skip ahead, get back to the... Get back to... The, we don't... Wait a minute, board. All right, you know what? Let me hear. It looks like some interesting little... Mammies. So let's just see what he's got to say. Careful about saying COVID vaccinations or vaccines. Um, as far as I know, they are in the works on vaccinations for this pandemic. Hopefully they will be readily available. Now see, if you had a good dwarven priest, all right, see what they would do is they'd sit down and they brew themselves up some, some dwarven holy water and they'd bust that and the, and the name's Moradin and Dumathoin. And then you drink it, and, and, hey, I watched a dwarf one time take a drink of, of dwarven holy water, 
and rushed head first into a metal door and then got back up and laughed. He was missing a couple teeth and he didn't have many to start with, but he still got up. So if they could do that, what do you think it's going to do to this COVID thing? We're only in lockdown because we don't want it from you humans because you Americans are dumb. Fine, keep talking, Grumpy. Available to everyone sometime in the near future. Um, there is absolutely no evidence at all, period, anywhere, ever, that these vaccines are designed to destroy human DNA. All right, see, he's going to talk about it, so I'm going to talk about it. So, all right, so check this out. All right, so George, Sir, Sir Chris? Sorbate, Sor 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 I don't remember what his name is. There's this old dude, right? Now, what he is, is he's part of the lizard people in the Illuminati, right? So, the Illuminati, as everybody knows, runs the world. So, when the Illuminati, right, they come up and they, they, they've got everything's planned, all right? So, the lizard people, whatnot. So, what they're doing is they're going to take this vaccine and they're going to spread it around the world. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to put little microchips in and what it's going to do is it's going to start changing people's DNAs and what it's going to do it's going to start changing people into lizard people they're going to breed an army out of you humans because y'all's dumb see it won't affect dwarves because dwarves have natural immunity to poisons and and polymorph spells and, and stuff like that but y'all screwed but yeah, the lizard people and the Rockefellers and the mother people and I'm done with this video. Well, no, let's see. Let's, I want to hear what he's got to say here at the end. Let's go to what's the phone number? Oh, what's it? All right, let's go to right about here. Uh, well, well, what's this? Microchip implanted in once human bodies. Microchips controlled by computers. Kiss your life, your humanity, goodbye. Exactly. We all know this. By 2025, the population will go from 356 million humans down to 99 million humans. It's a good start. For them. Now, see, as much as I dislike people from, you know, Jersey and Australia, in that funny place where they they talk funny you know that that creaky blender dude from over there anyways as much as i don't like you guys you know because y'all human and y'all talk funny is y'all necessary right a rose rush refusion will be shift to fema camps oh fema camps did you know that every walmart you know how out front they've always got them they call them water ponds or whatnot underneath those is the fema death camps i'm telling you look it up man look it up youtube tell you all about it and there's some awesome information on youtube I mean, just do your research that's all i gotta say just do your research keep going let's do this within five years 20 okay so again um your math no, 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 math, no, see, math, nobody does math, all right, nobody does maths either, all you gotta do really, look, listen, all you gotta do is, you, see how many fingers you got, in my case, I got nine, cause it got bit off by a rat, but still, use your fingers, and you count, one, two, three, four six seven eight nine ten all right that's all the numbers you need anything more than that you're using brain power you could use for other things like researching videos on youtube to find out what the illuminati is really up to you know and other stuff like that but this we frappy with the fappy dude was long enough and she got anything to say here at the end of this video he's a long Let's go right about there. Let's see what he's got to say. Let's let, let let's let. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let him talk about Bill Gates. Now, Bill Gates is behind this whole thing. You guys know this, right? You know this whole thing. See, Bill Gates, along with the George Tsukilo student, he 
is going to be the one implanting microchips in everybody. It's all out there for you to find, people. I'm telling you. So let's see what frappy old dude's got. Oh, and second of all, this whole video is nothing but a giant lie. So you have no evidence for any of this. Neither do you. All you're doing is trying to fear monger. Yep, you do. And stop people from, you know, getting vaccinations, which is dangerous and harmful. But then again, I don't expect anything less from someone who claims to be a religious person. Because all religions are harmful. No, no, no. Look, all religions are not harmful. All right. I'm not, that's a different video. And dangerous in one way or another. This guy mixing. Look, he's, he's still talking and he's plugging his merchandise sales. See, he's got a racism and a grumpy. Wait a minute, don't be a bogan. And look, bogarts, don't mess with no bogarts because bogarts are nasty. If you ain't. All right, you ever watch Harry Potter? And you see that thing that comes out of the closet thing? They call that a Bogart? That's not a Bogart. See, the Bogarts are huge. And they got these funky-looking eyeballs with this this almost like a rhinoceros horn on the top of their head. Really hard to kill. You know, and normally it takes about you know, four or five dwarves to take down one Bogart. You know, and we're tough. You know, one, one dwarf is like 10 humans. So it'd be like 40 humans trying to take out a Bogart. Wait a minute, Bo that's not Bogart? What is that? Bogan? What the hell? Why are you picking your nose? Why, why would you Why would you call somebody a booger? I don't know. Let's just... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Jersey, you don't know more. So, alright. So this has been fun. Of course, this guy's an idiot. He's from Jersey. Um. So, the way it... What's this note? He doesn't live in Jersey anymore. He lives in a state that I can't pronounce. All right. So, hey, he still, look, he's got that, that Guido accent. So, I'm still calling him Jersey Boy. So, that's about enough of the fappy old dude. So, um, we'll have, we'll talk to y'all later. Have fun. And uh, maybe I'll do another one here soon. Because, you know, it's really boring down here in the mines. You only hit a hammer so long. I gotta get out more.